Hey guys, Cowbell here. So today I'm doing a little impromptu video. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the changes CCP made earlier this week to torpedoes. Uh, it's really, really good news for mission runners. Uh, they made them way more viable. Although there's only a couple ships that it works really well on. Um, they increase their DPS, their range, a lot of good stuff. The way they hit, the way they apply, um, makes it a very, very good choice. And I went ahead and threw them on my Golem. So I was running cruise missiles before, went ahead and swapped them out to, uh, to the Torps. So swapped out the four launchers. Also, I removed one of the target painters, and I went in and put in a missile guidance computer. I have both scripts, so I have the range script and the precision script. You'll be swapping between the two depending on how far your targets are sitting out. Um, I've also tried a few different variations for the low slots. I found this is actually the best. Although you get diminishing returns for having four of the control systems. Um, I've tried the enhancer. This is the best setup. Um, everything else is going to stay the same in, in the rig slot. And as well as I'm um, keeping the uh, tractor beams. Um, you can put on a third tractor. I have a NOS on here, but uh, if you really want, third tractor works. Standard bastion module. Uh, if you go into simulation, you'll actually see what the total alpha is. So let's look over here. Total alpha, 10.3. Uh, uh, about 1.5k DPS, which is phenomenal. Uh, without the bastion module. Uh, let's see, let's put on, uh, okay, range scripts are in, and normal range 42, and then with the, uh, let's see, what do I have in there, uh, Scourge Rage, uh, with the uh, Bastion module, you see uh, 52, so it puts you in that sweet spot for, uh, I believe, almost all ships, except for a handful of the Amar ships, uh, they sit out, I believe 42 is the max range. Um, and then we'll just a standard afterburner, multi-spectrum, and a shield booster. So if we want to compare that to the cruise missile, let's do this. Let's throw these in here. Um, so like I said, it's basically the same ship without the uh, with enhancer right here. Uh, and cruise missiles, they of course hit out further, 194 range. And I don't think I've ever shot anything that far out. But uh, cruise missiles have longer range. A uh, little bit less alpha, so instead of 10.3, we're looking at about 8k, and DPS goes down from about 1.5 to about 10.55. So it just goes to show you why why the, this torp fit is just the way to go. Uh, I was doing a lot of testing; it two shots almost every single battleship I've come against, whereas with cruise missiles, you're looking at three shots. So every little bit you take off of how long it takes to kill a ship it's just gonna make the missions that much quicker uh, make sure I have everything I have all three missile types so I have the uh, I have the faction then we have both the long and the short range uh, if we do put on the short range you'll see we'll simulate it's gonna go down pretty substantially the DPS and let's throw those in here uh, yeah, yikes, only about 900 DPS. Let's see with the faction ammo. Faction ammo applies a little bit better to frigates. That's why I brought it along just in case. Now, you can run an enhancer in here if you really want. Uh, you, you lose minimal DPS, uh, and it'll track frigates a little bit better. But I found this setup works just fine for me. And the range with the faction, we're looking at 62. So yeah, that's, that's more than enough. I like it, so let's go ahead and undock. And I'll probably speed through this part. Uh, I'm actually running a mission right now, the Serpentis Extravaganza, so uh, I've done two parts when I was doing all the testing, and I'm just going to go finish up the third part. Once I land on grid, I'll go ahead and uh, get you guys back with me. Hey guys, welcome back. We are landing on grid in the final pocket, so... Uh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna immediately. I'm gonna get my multi spectrums going. I have a prescription script and my bastion module. And let's start getting everything locked up. Everything up close is gonna auto aggro, so we gotta take out these guys first. We're gonna go from uh, what's gonna hurt us the most, which is gonna be the battleships, and then we'll work our way down to the smaller targets. And I just want to give it a second. I want to get aggro. Um, then I'll put out my salvage drones after I uh, kill the first guy. So rear admiral, 
Admiral normally used to take three to four cruise missiles. Um, actually, I believe it was four to five, and it just took them out in three. Let's get this guy right here, and we're running precision. Perfect. And we'll do this. It should one-shot all these guys. Oh, let's make sure we got uh, MTU out. Perfect. It is one shot in all these uh, battle cruisers. And let's get this guy. The Marauder is an absolute monster tank. Watch what happens when I hit this. Boom. Just about filled up. You can wait till it gets all the way down here to start repping. It doesn't really matter. This thing has so much shield boost, it's uh, truly unbelievable. And let's go ahead and put the salvage. And let's put those guys out. And just let them go to town. It doesn't look like there's any frigates that we have to worry about, so I'm not worried about them taking aggro. They only take aggro from frigates, not from the uh, destroyers. And as you see, we're just plinking these dudes off. This is a truly unbelievable setup. I can't wait to run some of the other missions. Uh, just having to, you're saving one cycle time per battleship per ship. It's it's going to be substantial. This will be the new meta. Let's get this guy. And let's see. We'll just start going down the line. And we'll go by range. Perfect. Now some of these guys are going to... I believe they should kite out. I believe these guys sit at 50 plus. We'll see. You'll start to see everything start to take aggro. So this guy, we'll lock him up. You could take out the battleships if you wanted. It doesn't really matter. Let's get this guy. Let's hit our repper once. Should put us at full health. Just about. And I'm just going to lock everybody up. And we'll start taking out some of these battleships. This core should it should take them out in two hits. Let's see. It used to be three with the cruise missiles. So there's one. There's two. I'm actually going to turn this off. I don't want it to cycle a third missile. Because I believe it's going to take them out in two. Let's see. Might have to fire one more. Oh, yep. We gotta fire one more. That's okay. And the port, I'm wondering if we could get this guy in two. I know for sure uh, it was th at least three with cruise missiles. Let's see. He's got a little bit weaker tank. You can even tell by his bounty. I believe it. It'll take him out in two. Let's see. Let me decycle the missile so it doesn't shoot a third. Oh, just that little bit of sliver. Looks like he got a heal off. That's okay. It's kind of funny. I'm, I could run another 603 implant. I, I have cruise missile. Uh, cruise missile 603 implant in right now. I could switch it over to a torpedo. And I bet you for these port admirals it would take him out. Just that th extra 3% DPS probably take them out. I'm also training a level 4, so uh, I got uh, two more levels to go on the tor uh, Torpedo Specialization. The, it's the second tier for that. Let's do this guy. I'm kind of curious if we can get him in two hits. Uh, I'm at about half health. Let's cycle the Repper about two, three times. Two. That's fine. Looks like the tractor beam, uh, it's lagging behind a little bit, so let's help it pull in some of these. I don't want to have my uh, salvage drones going out. Looks like it did take three hits. Let's do this, pull him in, pull him in. And let's go with, this guy is in range, 43 is the max. So for the core admiral, I'm going to have to, to switch to range. That's all right. Let's get this guy locked up as well. It's funny, I don't even think the heavy missile batteries... No, they're not even locking me or shooting at me. Turn this off. I don't want to fire another missile in between. Okay. 
Let's snag a couple of these cruisers. I'm really stoked that these guys uh, fixed the uh, the torpedoes. Uh, they were so much fun to use, but they just didn't have the range, and they just had so many limitations compared to cruise missiles. And uh, I think the change is really nice, and I believe they actually might nerf it a little bit. They do seem a little bit too strong, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. They, they're they nice fit. And uh, I haven't done any PvP with them, but I'm actually kind of curious. I, I think a lot of PvPers are going to be swapping to these. Just the fact that they could actually apply now is, is so awesome. That was their biggest downfall. So let's lock these guys up. And we'll do it by range. Looks like uh, health's getting a little low. Let's go ahead and hit a couple cycles on the repper. Three cycles should do. And I'm just going to go by range. I'm not too worried about this core admiral. I could easily tank him. Uh, looks like we have some spider drones that might come in. Oh, they're just hanging out there. That's weird. I think they were actually tied to that NPC. The, the, the main boss. Alright, let's do this. Just going by uh, by range. And I'm going to help my MTU. Looks like it's still lagging behind a little bit. Let's get this guy dragged in. Uh, let's take out... Yeah, we'll take out the battle cruiser. Worried about these frigates. i got to take out these frigates before they take aggro on my salvage drones. So that'll be the thing to keep an eye out for. And I'm just going to take them out by range. One more uh, cycle on the repper. Good one shot. I love that it's one shot in these veterans. That uh, terrible application we used to have to deal with. That was that was such a nightmare with using torpedoes back before this patch. Uh, one more shot. Perfect. Let's take this guy out. Let's go ahead and lock this wreck. Okay, and you almost reloaded? Almost, sir. Alright, let's go ahead and take out this frigate. I do not want him shooting my salvage drones. Let's lock up this and this. Oh, this guy's actually going to take two shots. Alright, get this guy in. Oh, looks like it's being tractored already. So let's tractor the far one. And we'll hit this guy. I think you got to hit the spider drones too to complete the mission. We'll see. We'll watch the agent mission tab over here. Let's fire one more volley at this battle cruiser. And I'm going to have to decycle the precision. And we're going to have to swap to range. And new range is, let's turn it on, should be 52, he's sitting at 51, oh he's right on the, that perfect sweet spot. So this goes to show you whenever you're building your ships, uh, make sure whatever missiles you're using they head out to, uh, to the target. I'm just in that sweet spot for the rage, but if I had to I could always switch to, um, I could either run with my... Uh, my Caldari navies, or I could uh, switch over to the uh, Scourge Javelin. Perfect, okay. Let's do this, this, and this. It's funny, the spider drones are moving, but slow, and I don't really know where to. I wonder if they're, they're probably, oh, they're probably actually stuck in this structure. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's do this. Uh, hopefully I can kill him. I always have a uh, set of light drones if I have to. Let's see how the application does to, to this guy's drones. Not the best. I can actually take out the range. I'm going to put precision back in. I was wondering if I could two shot him. Okay. 
Let's do this, precision, and start to cycle it. There we go. Okay, good. Took him out. Let's see how it works with the precision script now. You can take these guys out in two or three hits. That's okay. I remember it took a while with cruise missiles as well. And I'm going to pull my drones back in because that's it for the salvage on the mission. I'm going to decycle the Bastion module. That's fine. Just because the mission's over. Oh, there's actually... Oh, I'm not worried about salvaging him. These drones don't give you much of anything. So let's let it finish off the last target. Going to scoop the loot. Scoop the MTU. I'm going to align. I shouldn't have to kill these, but I'll lock them up just in case. And that's it. So, yeah, you guys, I think this is a really, really good change. This is a, a, an awesome, unexpected change from CCP. I'm stoked to be using these. Um, we're going to try a couple different ships. Um, if any of you guys watch Hateless Gaming, you've seen he made a, a Vargas that absolutely smokes these missions as well. They're just as good as uh, my Golem, and it's a lot cheaper fit. I think he's doing it for like $2 billion. It has crazy tank, and it's actually a maneuverable ship. So whereas the I have to stay stationary with the Bastion, you can actually move around with that ship. Um, so that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, uh, I'd love to hear it. And I'd also like to see some ship fits. So if you guys try to make a rattlesnake fit that's going to work, uh, I would absolutely love to see it. And if you want to do any testing on the test server, just let me know. I've been going in and out of uh, Singularity all the time. So... All right, you guys, it's been a pleasure. If you like this video, make sure you do a like and a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Fly safe.